So let's try this a different way, which hopefully will help you to understand it, right? Now we already broke up 128, so that's not going to be a big deal. I'm going to have a big fifth root of some stuff. And no, I am not going to write 23 Ys. Sorry, but um, hopefully it will make sense what we do anyways. 128 was uh, seven twos being multiplied together. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we've got uh, eight of these X's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it. Need more space. Uh, where was I at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight of these. And then we got those 23 Y's which I'm not going to write for the sake of space. So once again, we just need to identify where we've got sets of five duplicates on this. Right there, I've got five twos, which would just pull out one two. And then I don't have any more twos that would, where I got five of the same thing for the twos. I don't have five other twos. But I do have five of these X's. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. These five X's are going to pull out and make just an X. All right. Now with these Y's, and this is something I want to do just because if we have a large number like this. Um, can't you pull out three sets? Of, of the Y's? Yeah. We can pull out more. Yeah, four, right? So this is Y to the power of 23 divided by 5. Which is, uh, again, as a mixed number, not that I'm going to go over that too much, right? That's 4. And then I would have a remainder, this may be easier, of 3, right? So those remainders, whatever I have remaining from that, is going to stay in the radical, okay? So in other words, I don't know about this new format. It's throwing me off. So I've got... I've got the 2 and the x that I pulled out. And then I've got y to the power of 4, because I have four whole sets of 5 from the 23. And then I've still got a fifth root of whatever remained, right? I got these two 2's. Two times 2 is 4. I've got these three x's, so I've got x cubed. And then up here we showed a remainder of 3 for the y's, so that's going to be y to the power of 3 as well. This is our answer. For these types of problems, be careful. I, now I'm, I'm color coding these, right? Just uh, make sure that I know the difference on a test between the 4 and the 5. So I, I know that it's not y to the power of 45. All right? Well, you can bring crayons and colored pencils. Yeah, the bracket, uh, if you want to separate them. Uh, even if you just wanted to put a multiplication sign between those, some way that I can tell that it's not 45, it's 4, and then the fifth root.